guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, here at CQ Servers, we're going to be showing you how to effectively get your 5M server set up with vMenu. So, first of all, before we dive in, I'm Jack, Managing Director of CQ Servers, um, and let's get right into the video, showing you guys how to get this done as quickly as possible. So guys, obviously, one of the most important things to remember is your server must be pre-installed for this to kind of work um, or at least to take from this tutorial anyway um, if you want a tutorial on how to kind of you know do the full thing meaning get the 5m server set up and things like that we have another video which shows you how to do that um, we are always looking at servers run by cq so we're not looking at you know your kind of home hosted public servers and um, obviously I'm a massive advocate for, you know, getting your server hosted to avoid yourself getting DDoS, things like that. Um, you know, one of the biggest things with 5M these days is that the community is quite toxic. If you do get DDoSed um, on your home network, it is most likely going to take down, um, you know, your house's Wi-Fi. That's probably not going to, you know, make people you live with very happy, which is why we kind of, um, you know, we have a decent amount of DDoS protection um, for all our servers. So... Just to kind of dive in here, um, we're going to need to have the panel all loaded up. Again, game.cq-servers.com. Um, you should have received an email of your, in your welcome email to CQ. Otherwise, you guys will probably already be an existing customer and I'll know how to access this. We're then going to make sure the server stopped before we proceed. Um, and then effectively, we're going to move on to the next part where we can go ahead and get the files for vMenu downloaded. Okay, guys, welcome back. What we're going to do now is we're going to look for where the vMenu is going to be downloaded from. So we're going to go to the GitHub. Um, I'll link that in the description. Otherwise, you just type in vMenu and it's one of the first links you'll see in the CFX.re article. We're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we'll see assets. We're going to go vMenu v3.3.1. We're going to grab it, open the file, and as you'll see, we've got all our information right there this is what we need um, and what we'll do is I will skip us over to the next part where I'll show you how to get this in to your server okay guys so now that we're over here on our file management section the first thing I'm going to do is just to make sure everything works once we get the files in we're going to go to server.cfg at the top here we're going to type exec permissions.cfg, we're going to press save content. We are then going to go back, we're going to go to settings, press launch SFTP, we're going to pop in our password for the game panel, and we are going to upload our V menu. There we go, V menu is uploaded. We're now going to jump over to our server file manager, go resources, we're going to create a directory, we're going to call it vMenu. We are now going to move this into there and as you'll see we can go in, we're going to press unarchive and all our files are going to be here. So. This is what we need to do. So we need to go back to file manager, server.cfg, and we are going to exec, it's going to be home slash container slash resources slash vmenu slash config slash permissions.cfg. We're then going to go down here, ensure vmenu making sure it's typed exactly as it is in our other files. Go to our console. I'm going to start it in just a second and I'll show you what the server looks like. Welcome back. We're now in the 5M server hosted by CQ Servers. What we're going to do, eh, I'm just going to show you, first of all, vMenu does work. Press M, it'll load it up here. Eh, as I said, the default key is M, but you can scroll through here and play around with whatever you need to, doing anything we need to. Um, online players permissions isn't set up but again we'll show you that in a separate video um, one thing I would say at this point is always good practice uh, if you already know what you're talking about with permissions make sure you put in your Steam API key if you don't that's probably going to cause quite a lot of the issues in terms of connection with Steam and applying your permissions to Steam X's 
Now also if we uh, press F2 as you'll see we're now no clipping and we're back. So yeah that's that's how to install vMenu. Very quick, very easy. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned for future tutorials and otherwise thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day. Just before you guys go, just a reminder, this video is brought to you by the team here at CQ Servers. We're offering affordable servers, great high performance hardware on the i9-9900Ks and 10900K CPUs with amazing price based on the RAM and the CPU you're getting, as well as quick pre-installed 5M servers. Um, you know, that's why we make these videos. Make sure you go to cq-servers.com, links all in the description. Get yourself a 5M Minecraft Gmod or Rust server.